Hello everybody, my name is Rick Dangerous and welcome to episode number 14 of my Terraria Let's Play series. This is a hardcore permadeath character playing on a master mode for the worthy world. Um, in this episode I am going to try to find Blink Root uh, because I've, I only have four planted and I really need a lot of Blink Root so that I can get endurance potions for the boss as well as uh, I need the blink root for um, spelunker potions as well. Uh, so my goal right now is to check the underworld every few minutes because I have a big uh, bridge full of dirt uh, and that's going to help um, that's going to help blink root spawn. Oh there's a blood moon. That's the first blood moon of this playthrough. Uh, but yeah, that's going to help Blink Root. Like, Blink Root is spawning. It's just not maturing yet. So I want to just keep coming down here and checking if it will mature. Um, the Blood Moon, I mean, that should be incredibly easy because... Uh, if I just wall this off... There, I got a shackle. I mean, everything from the Blood Moon is probably going to just die right away. If anything, I should see if I can make a uh, battle potion to increase spawn rates. That would be spawn rates. That would be nice. Um. I can make a battle potion. So let's do that. Spawn rates are increased. So this is just going to be a really, really easy blood moon. It'll be nice if I can get a... Um, Uh, what do you call it? A water trough? A piggy? Uh, for a mobile piggy bank? I'm going to hide the mini map so I can see more over here. Now that little ledge there needs addressed because that's preventing the dripplers from getting in there. So let's hammer that smooth. Okay, so now they should come through. And then every now and then I'll run and get this loot. And I think if I stay down here, things will spawn more quickly and they'll more likely go into the lava. I think I'll run down to the underworld real quick then and check for more blink root in a couple minutes. Oh, the bride is getting away. Okay, she's coming back now. Let's go ahead and grab some of the stuff. We got lots of lens lenses, lots of shackles. I do need to be careful. Uh, I have a battle potion active, so when I do go down to the underworld to look for blink root, um, that'll be a little dangerous.
Oh, I got a shark tooth necklace. I guess I'll stay up here for the full blood moon. Uh, like I said, I'd really like to get a money trough. I'm not sure if I'm getting, if this counts as kills, if I'm getting the kills for the banners. Actually, the other thing I can do if I wanted to speed this up is I could blow a hole through here and just shoot as well. Oh good, we got a bloody tear that can summon a blood moon. So that'll be nice to have. what these wedding dresses sell for. Alright, so one more minute on the Blood Moon. The Battle Potion seemed to help a lot. That did spawn a lot more enemies. No Money Trough, unfortunately.
All right, so that's the end of the blood, man. Let's go down and check on that blink root. Okay, oh, I do see a blink root. Okay, um, we need to go back and get that. Let's just make a run for it. Um, there it is. Got it. Okay, let's look for another blink root. Okay, that looks like the only one. So let's go ahead and, so we got three seeds from that, which is pretty decent. And two blink roots from it, so that's good. Okay, let's get these planted. And let's make endurance potions. I assume that's what we're going to want to. It's either that or oh, so we need um we need armored cave fish too, right? So we didn't go fishing yet. So let's go do that real quick. And is it morning? It's kind of morning, so that will give us a little fishing buff. So let's head down here and go fishing real quick. Let's wall this off so bats cannot get in. Okay. Now let's see if we can get. Well, I know we're going to get armored cave fish. Um, they spawn in this, or they uh, can be caught in this area, the underground cavern. I also have a crate potion activated, so I'm going to be getting a lot of crates. Specular fish, those can be turned into seafood dinners. Speaking of which, I should go ahead and eat to get a little bit of a fishing buff as well. So I think I'll fish for about six minutes. Uh, I'll use, I'll go through the first crate potion, which is three minutes, and then I'll go through another. Um, we'll have plenty of armored cave fish to make endurance potions. We're still going to be lacking the uh, blink root, but we have enough blink root to make two, and two is going to be plenty for the next boss. And if I want to, I got that bloody tear from the... Uh, Blood Moon, I could summon a Blood Moon pretty much any night that I want to, and I could make a Battle Potion to uh, really increase those spawns as well. So the nice thing about having Sonar Potions now is I can save a lot of bait by only picking up the fish that I want. I can skip the, you know, bomb fish, bass, rock fish, things I don't need, stink fish. Um, I do, I, I will get specular fish just because like I said they make seafood dinners. I think you need two of them to make the seafood dinner.
Um, so the only thing left, I'm trying to think of how to be uh, geared as much as possible before the boss. Um, it would be finding the goblin so that I can combine some accessories. That would be one thing. Um, endurance potions, which I'm actively working on. Uh, wrath potions, which uh, I could get while I was there if I fished while I was there. And maybe I will fish up one wrath potion while I, before I fight the boss. Um, I do have a lot of iron buckets, so I could move a lot of water. Let's go ahead and open some of these crates and see what we get. A lot of the stuff we already have. So I'll go ahead and activate another crate potion. We also have some red potions, which are unique to For the Worthy. The wiki says that they give three random buffs. Um, so I should probably take one of those before the boss fight and see if it gives us anything useful. So for the um, boss fight, for the Eater of the Worlds, he's going to be 33% more health, 33% more damage. He's going to have two extra defense on every body segment. He's going to accelerate faster and have a faster max speed. He's going to spit more often even when he's underground. His headpieces will spit more often. And he's going to be larger in general, just a bigger, bigger size. So, um, I need to stay disciplined during the fight and not start piercing his midsection. I need to make sure I focus only on his head. And when he's underground, I need to ignore his midsection. Because if I start splitting him up into multiple worms, it's going to become overwhelming. Like splitting him in half is the worst thing you could do because now he's guaranteed to have two heads pretty much the rest of the fight. I can't remember what the stink fish do. I think they make some sort of potion but it's not used very often, from what I remember. Alright, so I think once this crate potion runs out, will be a good time to stop fishing. Go ahead and check out the um, blink route one more time. Or lack of blink route. Oh, and 
I need to put on my uh, fire for when we touch those. Okay. So I'm just looking for any mature blink root. There's a baby one, two babies. There's a baby. Okay, so no more blink root. Let's teleport home. And let's uh, put away the fishing materials. Bamboo leaf summons a baby red panda. So yeah, let's let's put away the fishing gear. Oh, I had my staff of regrowth in the piggy bank by accident. I forgot my garden gnome while I was fishing. All right, let's uh, go ahead and make two endurance potions. We gotta put the fishing potions away. Fishing, sonar, crate. Let's put some things in here to sell. Ancient gold helmet. I want I guess that's different than my gold helmet. I think it still counts as the set bonus though. Yeah, so I'm gonna wear the ancient one because I think that's cool. I'll keep the other one just in case. Instead of selling it. Okay, let's open these crates. We got some shine potions. Alright, let's make more buckets, because we're not going to be using the iron for anything else. Well, I guess, actually, iron skin potions. Let's see how many we have. Iron ore, five. Yeah, so, let's, uh, let's, let's hang on to the rest of this iron. Okay. Uh, but we can make buckets out of the rest of this, uh, lead. And I don't know where our buckets went. Did I put those in the piggy bank? I did. Okay, some iron ore. All right, iron skin, endurance, swiftness, regen, night owl. We'll have a burger. Um. And I might go fishing while I'm there. If I do, I'm gonna need a place bottle and some bottled water to make the wrath potion. And let's just double check what a wrath potion uses. So that's gonna use Ebonkoi Deathweed. So um we do have some death weed. I'll bring two death weed. I'll check the garden to see if there's any more death weed blooming. There is. Just since we don't have that much of it, we'll get more planted. Alright, so I think we are ready to fight the boss. Let's add some more potions. Um, we're gonna we're gonna bring the red potion just to see what that does. Thorns, archery, heart reach. And then we need to bring the 
jester arrows and the unholy arrows and we'll make as many jester arrows as we can okay and um, we just need to remember to get water on our way so let's go ahead and head out to fight the boss. I can grab water on the way there. Um, I think that's everything. Should be good to go. Oh, you know what? One thing. Let's get some grass seeds so we can make a sunflower so we have the happy bonus while we fight the boss so two grass seed a sunflower and i'll pick up two dirt on the way oh and if we touch this ladybug we get a lucky buff so that's good okay so there's our two dirt And when I see a big pool of water, I'll fill these buckets. I don't want to take water from the desert, though, but I'll take it at the next the next one. I'm going to need more water than that, though. I can take all this. Okay, so I still need nine more. Here's some. Okay, so I have... 34 buckets of water that'll help to make an artificial fishing area and the corruption should just be on the other side of this jungle Here are worms, so let's get prepared for that. Okay. Let's deal with this worm first. Alright. So the water is... Where is the water? Do we have any natural water here? Not that much at all. So making a fishing area here is going to be a little more complex than I thought. Let's just check down here real quick. So that's lava down there. Alright, well, I'll just dump the water here for later. But we're not going to go fishing now. But this will just add some water to the area. Alright, let's go ahead and... patch this up we'll take our potions and we'll fight the boss and one thing I want to do is move that honey real quick so let's put the honey in a bucket because I don't want to be shooting the boss with arrows and have it bump into uh, this stone okay so we will put the heart lantern on the side with the banner. And then we will put the campfire in the middle with the garden gnome. He's in our piggy bank. So let's get the garden gnome out. Okay. Um and then finally we need the honey replaced and the sunflower planted. Gotta deal with all these enemies real quick. Okay, so we'll put the honey here. So when we step in that, we get 
faster health regen. And then we will plant the sunflower right next to it for the happy bonus so we run faster. Okay, and that should be everything. Let's go ahead and take this red potion and see what it gives us. It's supposed to give us three random buffs. So it gave us iron skin, wrath, that's awesome, and mining. Mining is not that big of a deal, but iron skin and wrath is awesome. So now we will take thorns, endurance, swiftness, regen, night owl. So let's start with that. And um, a burger for um, major improvements to all stats. Uh, and last but not least, archery potion. And let's go ahead and summon this boss. Everything should be ready. Oh, heart reach potion will take. So I'm buffed out of my mind. I need to stay disciplined and only attack his head. Let's go ahead and summon him. Okay, here we go. Um, looks like he's coming from the bottom. Oh no. I forgot my bow. I cannot believe I forgot my bow. That is not good. Oh man. Okay, so I'm going to be fighting him with a freaking boomstick. This is going to be nuts. Here we go. So I'm going to have to shoot his head over and over. Alright. I never fought him with just a boomstick before. I guess the good news is it's going to be a little easier to dodge all the uh, spit. I cannot believe I forgot my bow and arrow. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. I need to stop taking so much damage from this spit. This is going to be a slow fight. Very slow. I guess I should start weakening some of his body segments though. Instead of just aiming for his head the whole time, I should start weakening some of his body. As long as I don't destroy his body. Okay. So if I just keep dodging the spit, take care of these side enemies here. It's just going to be a very slow battle. Oh, I took a lot of damage there. Oh, I'm in lava. Crap, okay, so I got a second head I gotta deal with now.
I need to get down to that honey as soon as I can. I gotta stop getting hit by this spit too. Need to stay focused. Okay, let's get down to this honey. Ah, I can't get to it. He keeps getting in the way. That guy's spitting at me too. I guess I can attack his tail. Okay, at least I'm regenerating some health here. This is gonna be a long fight. Forgot my bow. I do have plenty of bullets, so that's good. As long as my health is good, I'm happy. So I'll just take my time. Oh, there I'm getting some good hits in. I got a lot of good hits in there. This is a nice arena. Oh, I took a lot of damage there. Definitely getting a lot smaller. Okay. Uh oh, I split off a second head. So I need to kill that second head as soon as I can. Oh no, I'm splitting off a bunch now. This is where piercing would help a lot. Because I don't want to have all these second heads everywhere. That adds to the amount of spit. Okay, I got it back down to two. He's getting smaller. So, in theory, the fight should be getting easier. I just have to... There we go. Okay, he's back to one body segment. I haven't really been able to use the honey at all, but that's okay. Here we'll get some. Oh, almost. I can't believe I'm gonna beat him with a boomstick. I guess it's really the arena that's making this possible. I could try finishing him off with the mini shark, actually. Let's see if that does anything better here. The boomstick definitely does better mass damage, but the mini shark can kind of focus him a little better at the end. Maybe I better go back to the boomstick. That seemed to be working better. Oh, I just took a lot of damage. Oh, I'm so close. Come on. 
Any hearts anywhere? Okay, last hit and he's down. There we go. Oh man, that took forever. All right, so here's the question. Do I fight him again? Probably not, because it's just gonna take too long. I could leave the hearts there to pick up later during the second fight, but let's just, let's get back to base and sort this out real quick. I'll bring my piggy bank and the garden gnome and I'll leave everything else. All right, let's uh, make sure I get all this loot. There's shadow scales and demon art, demonite everywhere. And let's get the treasure bag. Okay. Let's head back to base. And, oh, we got blink root. That's what we need, blink root. Let's grab that real quick. And it really wouldn't hurt to plant some more day bloom as well while we're at it. So let's get some day bloom. And we'll replant a bunch of that. Now let's see what's in our treasure bag. Okay. Oh, so we got the uh, we got the trophy. So let's go put that at our house. Okay. And let's do a quick stack on some of this stuff to clean up our inventory. Uh, I know we, we really need a Spelunker potion or two. Let's make two of those and then one more endurance potion. Okay. So we have the basics, iron skin, regen, swiftness, and then we'll do danger sense, mining, shine, spelunker. And then let's put the rest of this in the inventory and open our treasure bag. Um, Worm tooth. Can I quick stack that? Okay, so those are our first worm teeth. The buckets we'll keep with us. And the shadow scales will go in here. So we're going to be able to make the armor. Let's make that real quick before we open the treasure bag. So for the armor, we're going to turn all this into demonite bars. And we can make shadow armor. Um, let's go ahead and make that real quick. Shadow armor. Okay. So we retired the gold armor. Um, I do want to make a mannequin, I think, just to, so it looks cool to put our old armor on. So let's go get a mannequin from the sawmill. And we'll put that right here. And we'll put the gold armor on the mannequin. So that looks pretty cool. I wonder if he can wear the vanity sunglasses. Or maybe I didn't keep them. I don't think I kept them. That's too bad. Okay, so finally let's open the treasure bag. And we got the worm scarf. So we are going to wear that from now on to reduce damage by 17%. This was an extra long episode, probably the longest one yet, but it's because I forgot my bow for the fight. I had to fight him with a boomstick, but otherwise successful. We got more blink root planted. Um, we got spelunker potions now and some endurance potions. So things are looking good. 
Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see everybody in the next episode.